The scene begins with Motto standing over one of Freeze's ships that landed earlier. Press this switch and you'll fly to your destination. Also, I've set it to voice recognition. If anything happens, just give it a voice command. Got it. Thank you, Hamu. Standing above them, a familiar figure approaches. Motto. You're really leaving, huh? Now that Frieza is dead, there's no reason for me to fight. That guy who defeated Frieza. I want to meet Kakarot. I want to see his strength. If he's one of those pure-blooded warrior Saiyans, I don't know what will happen. But, if I come back in one piece, let's live together, the three of us. In Lady Basil's arms, a small child that resembles Mato is seen. Mato reaches for the red armband that was given to him by his own father and rips off a piece. Every time you look at this bandana, you'll remember me. The baby laughs, staring at his new accessory. Pisa, take care of Basil. Take care of your mother. Have a safe journey, Mato. Please come back soon. Mato begins to rummage in his pockets and takes out a strange ball. The Dragon Ball that was given to him all those years ago begins to flash. Huh? It became stone. Strange. I thought Mr. Hop said I could use as many stars as... I have no choice. For now, I'll go and find Kakarot. He's still on Earth. Probably. He grips hard onto the now stone ball. And with that, Mato leaves planet resource and heads towards Earth. Kakarot. What kind of person are you? Computer, I'm sorry. Could you take me to Namek? As you wish. The ship changes direction and heads straight towards where Namek once was. We reach Namek. Base. Computer, to Earth. As you wish. Meanwhile on Earth, Mato crash land. This is Earth. Kakra should be somewhere on this planet. I can feel high power levels in various directions, especially over there, the highest power level. The key is similar to Turley's and mine. I'll go check it out. The scene transitions to Capsule Corp. On the ground, a strange but mysterious figure is seen. There! That's... Kakarot? Uh... Are you Kakarot? The figure stands and reveals himself to be none other than Vegeta. Go away. Never say that name again. Wait! Mato stands in shock, bemused at his reaction. Go away. Never say that name again. What was that? The... that guy? Oh? That person? Could he be... Yoo-hoo! Hey you! You're a Saiyan, aren't you? Y yes A heart disease? Yes. Just about three years ago. Apparently, when he was coming back from Namek, he stopped by Planet Yardra. I think he caught a virus or something there. Is that so? Died of a disease? Unbelievable. Say, what kind of person was Kakarot? I mean, Son Goku. Oh well, when we first met, although I thought multiple times that he was a naive brat, no matter what kind of crazy guy came up, he never ran away and always fought against them. Son Goku. As his name suggests, his spirit and strength could spread infinitely like the sky. No matter what happened, he never gave up. He was that kind of person. I see. I was wrong about Kakarot. I thought he was a dreadful fighting machine or something like that. Don't worry about that. 
After all, pure Saiyans are a race of battle maniacs. Speaking of which, was that person a Saiyan too? Ah, so you met Vegeta. He's one of the few remaining pure Saiyans, a survivor. Vegeta's purpose was to keep fighting, to defeat Goku one day. But after Goku disappeared, he didn't have a reason to fight anymore. Back to what we were talking about earlier, maybe we can bring your mother back to life. Huh? Is it true? Sure. Bulma proceeds to place six Dragon Balls on the table. These balls are... They are exactly like Mr. Harps. Mine turned into a stone. Kami, the Earth Guardian created these Dragon Balls with the Namekian ones in mind. Perhaps that Mr. Harp remembered it from his own past and made it. These balls are called Dragon Balls. If you collect seven of them, a dragon called Shenron will appear and grant you one wish, no matter what your wish is. That's great! With these Dragon Balls, Mother, Base, the Villagers, I can bring everyone back to life! About Base, he died on Namek, right? Maybe he's already been revived. Huh? How? Almost everyone on Namek was brought back to life. Now they are living on another planet. Awesome! So base is safe, right? Dragon Balls are amazing! After we bring your mother back to life, I will take you to the new Namek with my spaceship. However, I don't know where it is. Maybe I should ask Fortune Teller Barber. Um, there are only six balls here though. Yup, you see, I thought I'd collect the Dragon Balls just in case. But getting the last one is harder than I thought. The scene shifts to the home of Goku. Down the corridor studying, a young boy is working hard. Gohan is studying properly, you know. That's partially because you made Earth a peaceful place. Right, Goku? Huh? Suddenly, Gohan senses an enormous power coming towards him. Someone strong is coming, but it doesn't seem to be an evil key. It feels like... Hello, you're Kakarot's son, Gohan, aren't you? Are you... a Saiyan? What's wrong, Gohan? Uh... Mato is left shot at the incredible resemblance between Chi Chi and his own mother. She... she looks like my mother! Oh? What is it? Have we met before? I'm sorry, it's just... you look like someone I know. I'm Mato. You came here for a reason, didn't you? Why don't you come in? We'll talk about it. Sorry to intrude. Ah. Right before Mato, he sees the last Dragon Ball. The Four Star Dragon Ball. That's the Four Star Dragon Ball! He begins to reach for it when suddenly... What are you doing? Don't touch my Goku! Don't you dare take Goku away from me! Mato stands paralyzed in shock at her reaction. Some time passes and Chi Chi falls asleep. She's been like that ever since my dad died. She's not eating much and she's not as cheerful as before. Mato begins to reflect and remember his own mother. I'm going out. <clears throat> Mato, stop playing around and go study. Mato, how's base? Mato, clean your room. Mato, eat as much as you want. Mato! He turns his head and looks at the four star Dragon Ball and wonders if it's really worth it. As the evening approaches, Goku. Listen, Goku, what kind of life do you want to live once we're married? Life? Let's see. Eat and sleep as much as I want. That's not what I meant. Married couples live together happily ever after. I want to have a healthy child that looks like you, Goku. I can't wait to start a family with you. It's going to be fun. A child, huh? Maybe he'll resemble Grandpa. I'll teach him Kung Fu. No, 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 no. He won't need martial arts. He will study. A baby Gohan is then seen. Oh, this looks good on you, Gohan. Are you okay, Chi Chi? 
All right, I'll make you feel better. I'll bring you lots of stuff. I'll be back in a flash. Just wait for me. Goku, please don't go. Goku. What are you talking about, Chi-Chi? I'm here. Chi-Chi hearing Goku's voice immediately stands. Goku! However, standing where she thought Goku would be, stands Mato. The pain of losing her husband hits her once more, and tears fall from her eyes before she collapses on the ground at Mato's feet. Midnight arrives. <laughs> so what do you think Goku and Chi-Chi said that time? Please, will you stop bringing that up, Dad? Eventually, Gohan puts Chi-Chi to bed. Man, it's been a while since I had this much fun. After Goku died, Chi-Chi stopped being her cheerful self. Thank you, Mato. You made Chi-Chi laugh again. With everyone asleep, Mato looks at the four-star Dragon Ball once again. However, he clenches his arm, restraining himself, and turns away. Meanwhile, in a cave in the darkness far away... <laughs> Android 17! Bastard! <laughs> Suddenly, the old man's head is kicked straight off and just as quickly stabbed. Android 17 and 18 have arrived. <laughs> <sighs> it's nice to be out finally. It's been a while. Let's go back to town. Wanna come number 16? I am going to kill Son Goku. Huh? <laughs> Son Goku died of heart disease. He's not on the radar. You're right. But that info is not in my data. Poor guy. It's true that Dr. Jiro created us to kill Son Goku, but he was probably plotting to take over the world now that Son Goku isn't around. But that doesn't matter. Let's take it easy. I'm sorry guys, I'm not following you without proof. I will find Son Goku. And with that, Android 16 leaves by himself. Weird guy. Well, we're free now. Let's go back to town. Back with Mato, he begins to reflect. Mum, I wish I could bring you back right now, but just wait a little longer until Chi Chi feels better. Basil, Pisa, please wait for me. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the city, Andrew 17 and 18 have finally surfaced. Hmm, you too, number 18? It's something I've felt for some time. The thought of breathing the same air as these humans is driving me crazy. Hey! You guys! Aren't you Lappy and Lazuli by any chance? Two humans appear to recognize the twins. The two stare back confused. Look! It's really them! I didn't see you around here for a while. Where the heck have you been? Haha! <laughs> Long time no see. Oi! Get out the way, you idiots! You're in the middle of the road! Android 18 looks back angrily. Hmm? What's that? There's a slight disturbance in the air. I'm back. I brought you another big catch, GG. Hey, Mato. Gohan told me you need the Dragon Ball. Huh? Suddenly, Mato senses an enormous explosion. This feels great! Huh? Standing on top of the building is Piccolo. So, they're the ones causing trouble. Since your key can't be sensed at all, I guess you're not normal people. Who the hell are you? Who the hell is this guy? I can't sense his key at all! Is Son Goku here? Is Son Goku here? Who the hell is this guy? I can't sense his key at all. Huh? Mato looks to the side and notices that Chi Chi is still here. 
All right, let's talk about it over there. Meanwhile, back on the battlefield with Piccolo. Well, look who's here. You're King Piccolo, aren't you? W what? How do you know my name? Who knows? Maybe I'll tell you if you fight me. Interesting. Even in a peaceful world like this, there's still something rotten. <laughs> Gohan? Sorry, mother. No, Gohan, come back! I see. Son Goku is really dead after all. This guy gives off a weird vibe. Who are you really? I'm an android created by Dr. Jiro to kill Son Goku. Dr. Jiro? An android created to kill Son Goku? But now that Son Goku is gone, I don't know what I'm going to do after this. My life doesn't have a meaning anymore. I have no purpose. I lost my purpose and felt lost too. I had no idea what to do. But now that I think, maybe there's someone out there. Someone I can help with my strength. Help someone with my strength. <laughs> you lost your arm again. You are so weak. <laughs> Using his Namekian abilities of regeneration, Piccolo regenerates his arm. <sighs> <sighs> that desperate look on his face. Why don't you try it too, number 18? Well, how many times do you think you can endure this? You monsters! Mato! Gohan! Gohan, he... Gohan said he's going to save Piccolo! He rushed out! Piccolo? Huh? I can feel a really high power level in the distance. Is that... Piccolo? Please! Bring Gohan back to me! Alright, Chi Chi. You stay here. Leave Gohan to me. I'll definitely bring him back. <laughs> Transitions to Gohan who's now on his way to the battlefield. I've got a really bad feeling. Huh? Gohan! Krillin! What in the world happened to Piccolo? I have no idea. To think, Piccolo would fight with so much power. Anyway, let's hurry! Let's go! Meanwhile, back with Mato, he too is racing towards the power levels he sensed. That Piccolo guy's power level is getting lower and lower. However, I still can't feel his opponent's power level at all. I couldn't feel the power level of that android either. Maybe there's a connection. Uh, over there! Huh? Ah! On the battlefield lies a motionless Piccolo. Mr. Piccolo! Mr. Piccolo! Well, well, well. Your friends are finally here. They look like normal people to me, but who the hell are they? Mr. Piccolo, are you okay? As he looks closer, Gohan finally realizes that Piccolo is no longer with him. Mr. Piccolo! No, no way, Piccolo is... He kept muttering, Gohan, Gohan. I wonder if King Piccolo was hungry. <laughs> huh? <coughs> Shitty brat. Don't look down on me. Damn. <coughs> Go on. Uh, Mr. Piccolo. Die. Shit. Huh? You're not going anywhere, Mini Monk. Damn it. See ya. You are standing in front of them. Mato arrives. 
ready to take on both androids at the same time. The scene begins with Yamcha, Tien and Chao Su flying towards the massive explosion. What? I can feel a key getting stronger, but I don't know who it is. This key could be Vegeta's or Gohan's. No way. It feels like Goku's! Back on the battlefield, Mato has arrived after slamming Android 17 into a nearby building. Mr. Mato! Phew! Good grief. I like this outfit. Oh well, I still have 30 other outfits just like this. Who the hell are you anyway? There is no one like you in my data. Huh? Mato suddenly announces the arrival of Tien, Yamcha and Chaozu. Y- Yamcha! Tien, Shinhan and Chaozu too! What- What the hell is going on here? <gasps> Piccolo! Out the corner of his eye, Tien noticed the lifeless body of Piccolo. It can't be! Piccolo! Piccolo? Mato turns round and is completely shocked. The resemblance to his friend is uncanny. But base? No. No way. But that appearance. He's clearly a Namekian. Then the Dragon Balls. I see. So this is the man who made the Dragon Balls. Huh? By the way, who is this guy? His name is Mato, and he's a Saiyan from another planet. So that's why his key was so similar to Vegeta's, Gohan's, and Goku's too. Still, what the heck are they? Why can't I feel their key? The two androids remain smiling, watching as the Z Fighters question each other. You are androids made by Dr. Jiro, aren't you? Well, you know your stuff, don't you? D Dr. Jiro? Androids? Yes, we're androids created by Dr. Jiro to destroy Son Goku, to avenge the destruction of the Red Ribbon Army. Red Ribbon Army? Just to destroy Goku? But since Son Goku is already dead and Dr. Jiro was killed, we're free. And all we want to do now is kill every single human being in the world. I'll kill anyone who gets in the way of our fun. Upon hearing those words, the Z Fighters including Motto all get into stance. That guy, Piccolo, even with such a tremendous power level, he was beaten so easily. Those guys are no ordinary strength. <laughs> and just like that, Super Saiyan Motto has now arrived in the battlefield. The strength of his aura push backs on everyone else. That's Super Saiyan! He, he looks just like Goku when he defeated Frieza, Cooler and Cold. What a strange phenomenon. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's have a little fun. Meanwhile, in a faraway desert where Vegeta first fought Goku, Piccolo's key vanished. Also, that Saiyan became a Super Saiyan. Tch, nonsense. Oi, number 18. Let me take on that blonde. That's not fair, number 17. You want all the best things for you, huh? You had fun with Piccolo, though. All right, then. But I want to finish him off. Okay. If I let him live. Don't get distracted. I'm still here. I want to have fun too. What's wrong? 
You need to entertain me more. <laughs> Suddenly, Android 18 notices how the battle is going with 70. <laughs> Get in my way, number 18. <laughs> that was a pretty close call. Besides, I don't like that guy. Wow, that motto. He's like Goku when he defeated Frieza and his family. No, he's. He might be even. <laughs> Mata looks on through the smoke to finish off the job. And Wave 17 rushes at top speed through the ash. <laughs> Take this! Huh? What? Crescent Moon Blow! Is left from Mato's attack, and the two androids are scattered across rubble. Sh shit! That's ridiculous! Even fighting together doesn't work! So strong! If you keep this up, Mato, we might win! Phew! I never thought my training of Turley's and his men would come in handy here. Mato thinks back to the two twins he fought at the beginning of his training. Hey! Hey! I think he can beat them! No, I have a bad feeling. They radiate a creepy aura. What is this? Android 18 thinks it's time to get serious and removes her jacket. <sighs> What's going on? This fight is dying to get one sided. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? The power you had before. You need to be more entertaining. With a smile on both androids' faces, both of them bring up their energy shields. <laughs> it's useless. Useless! Th this is bad! It's just a waste of power! In the first half of the fight, he flew around too much while in Super Saiyan form, didn't he? Uh, uh, they don't seem to be getting tired at all! How is it possible? Looks like you're running out of stamina. Unfortunately, our energy is infinite. W what? No wonder they don't get tired! Now I think it's time we end our little game. We can't fight for longer. That's exactly what they want. I will destroy their barrier and get this over with!
among the rubble and destruction left behind, Mato emerges. Still alive, but barely. <laughs> Damn! Mato! M Mato! Hey, are you okay? Oh, as I expected. You're really tough. These guys are scary. We don't stand a chance. Please, bring Gohan back to me. Everyone, listen. At this rate, we're gonna be defeated. We need to flee from here and come up with a strategy. Flee? All right, when I give signal, don't look at me and close your eyes. Okay, Tien Shinhan? Yes, understood. No way. We, we can't just run away like this. I'll avenge Piccolo's death! G go on! Go on! See ya! Android 17 marvels at the destruction and death of his latest prey before realizing something isn't right. Standing there inexplicably with both arms missing is Piccolo, once again saving Gohan from death. What? P Piccolo! Now! Immediately each and every one of the z fires closes their eyes. Huh? Solar Flare! <laughs> It. What? What's this? My eyes! Everybody run! On Krillin's command, everyone disperses in different directions. Gohan! As Mato picks up the injured Gohan, he glances behind him and sees the body of Piccolo. Even he can't explain what just happened. <laughs> Damn! What the hell was that? Where the hell did they go? At, at least I can bring Gohan back to Chi Chi somehow. Meanwhile, back with Yamcha and Krillin. Even though he became a Super Saiyan, that guy still couldn't beat them. I think we're no match for them. If only Goku, if only Goku were here. Well, for now, We've come this far without problems. <gasps> it's bad to make such a cute girl wait for so long. That's the worst type of man. Standing before them is Android 18. Similarly, back with Tien and Chao Su. Chao Su, turn around and leave now. But Mr. Tien, just get out of here. Thank you, Mr. Tien. Please don't die! You monster! Take this! Huh? The power level of those people! It suddenly comes to Mato that every single Z-Fire's energy has now vanished. The other three managed to flee. Oh well, we'll have to save the fun for later. There's not much we can do about it. Hey, number 18. Let's go back to the lab and change our clothes. I want to have a shower too. Meanwhile, on Master Roshi's island. What did you say? And Piccolo, Quillen and the others. Yeah, and Mr. Tien too, so that I could run away. No way. Piccolo was defeated by such terrible guys. I... Uh. Master Roshi thinks back on the image of Goku, thinking what he would do. I'm afraid I'm too weak to do anything now. Back with Chi Chi. <sighs> Go on! Chi Chi, get Gohan to bed fast! And with that, Gohan is patched up and put into bed by his mother. Mato, thank you for helping Gohan. No, my power wasn't enough to protect Gohan from harm. As Mato walks away, he notices something from the corner of his eye. The Dragon Ball turned into stone. 
<sighs> Gohan! No! You need to rest! Mato, what about the androids? Where is everyone? Sorry, I ran away as fast as I could. We were able to escape and come back here. But the others? Everyone! Not only Piccolo, but even the others! I... I can't even bring them all back to life! Can't you bring them back with the Dragon Balls? You can't make the same wish twice on the Dragon Balls! And those guys already died once before. Also, now that Piccolo is dead, the Dragon Balls won't work anymore! What?! No way! That means... bringing my mother back to life! So close! I was so close to bringing her back! Mato immediately runs outside. That was my last, my last hope. Mato! Mato, please! Please train me! I want to avenge Piccolo and everyone else! Mato's face immediately turns from one of disappointment to anger. Gohan, I'm sorry but I can't do it. What? You stay here with Chi Chi. I will take care of those guys and I will avenge everyone. No way! Please let me help you! Please, I won't slow you down! I have Saiyan blood in my veins just like you, Mato! Mato stares at the child for a second, thinking on his words. Gohan, you're wrong about me. The real reason I came to Earth is to defeat Kakarot. No! I couldn't forgive Kakarot for defeating Frieza, the one who killed my mother, and so I approached you guys to bring her back to life with the Dragon Balls. Now that the Dragon Balls are gone, there's no reason for me to be with you. I won't be satisfied until I defeat the androids, who made the Dragon Balls useless. I don't need a kid like you to help me. You'd only slow me down. No way! You're kidding, right? You're lying! Huff of rage, Gohan escapes and flies off into distance. Gohan. Mato, thank you so much for saving Gohan. This is the uniform Goku used to wear. Instead of your tad clothes, you can use this. Kakarots? Good. I knew it would fit you. It's like Goku came back to life. Chi Chi. Thank you. Meanwhile, in the wilderness alone, Gohan mourns the loss of his master. Ugh, Mr. Piccolo! I simply can't win against those two androids by myself. If only there was another person as strong as me. The story begins with Mato flying towards an unknown entity. Someone he believes could help him in the fight against the android. If I could just ask him, he's the only one after all. Meanwhile, up in the snowy mountains, Android 16 wanders alone. I still don't know my purpose in life. Hey! Sorry, could you please help me? My rear wheel is stuck in the snow and it can't move anymore. Thank you for your help. You seem strong, so I'm happy you can help me. <laughs> the two civilians are absolutely shocked at what they just witnessed. Is this a dream? It feels like one. Helping people with your power. I wonder if there are people like that. Huh? What is it? This radar's reaction is. Meanwhile, back at Capsule Corp, so, you know, I'd really like to go there with you, Vegeta. You won't eat anywhere else after you eat there. Vegeta, we've been talking for so long. You must be thirsty. I'll go get you a drink. What do you want? I need to talk to you. Please, follow me. Oh? The two travel back to the area Goku and Vegeta first fall. Vegeta, as you know, some terrible guys have appeared. I can't win alone. I need your help. Why? 
the hell are you wearing that? Seeing you in that outfit is driving me crazy. I heard it from Bulma. The shock of Kakarot's death made you stop fighting. It's hard to lose someone you care about. I understand that pain. But you and Kakarot are pure Saiyans. If there's one thing Kakarot would have done, it's fighting. Foolish. People die for no reason. It doesn't matter if you fight or not. That bastard Kakarot didn't die fighting. He died of some stupid disease. That's not true. Kakarot was fighting that disease. He may have died as a result, but Kakarot died in battle. And it's not just Kakarot. We Saiyans died while fighting Freezer and his army. Vegeta, you are the prince of all Saiyans, aren't you? Are you saying that we Saiyans have been fighting in vain? Is it fighting until you die something a Saiyan should be proud of? Vegeta! Is that all you wanted to say? Alright, I won't ask you anymore. I'm going to fight alone. And with that, Mato leaves the scene, presumably headed towards the androids. As Mato leaves, Vegeta looks into the sky. That bastard. Meanwhile, back with Android 16, it's around here. I can sense something around here. It's a reaction similar to mine. It's there. <laughs> That's in a nearby city. Welcome. Wow, it's so big. Don't get too excited, number 18. Hmm? Oh my, department stores are not for poor people like that. I think I've seen you before. Suddenly, the true human identity of Android 16 is remembered by the fellow. Oh yeah, you're in Dr. Jiro's laboratory. Do you know who I am? Don't you remember? When I was completed. Mm. So this is the android you created, Dad. You look like someone who wouldn't hurt a fly. Don't underestimate number 8. He could easily destroy the Red Ribbon Army if he wanted to. Someday, soldiers like you won't have to risk their lives anymore. I hate violence. <laughs> this guy is good. A killing machine that doesn't like violence. Perfect for a freak show. What did you say? Dad, no matter how advanced the science is, on a battlefield, Things change so easily, they need excellent human fighters. Just put some speakers in him and he'll make a nice accent furniture. W wait son! <laughs> We've been developing robotic human beings, the androids, to prevent humans from fighting each other. So that soldiers like my son won't lose their lives unnecessarily at such a young age. My son became a machine that just follows orders and I create a machine that thinks like a human being. It's ironic. Dr. Jero. But something is different from that time. Maybe. Are you an android too? Ata, it's time for lunch. Oh, are you a customer? Uh, this is my brother. How lovely. I didn't know you had a brother, Ata. Hi, nice to meet you. Ata is always a great help. A great help? That's not true. You and the others always help me. When people live together, it's important to help each other. It's important to help each other. My name is Suno. What's your name? My name is Android number 16. Number 16? Awesome! You have so many brothers and sisters, Ata. Hmm. But still, I'd like number 16 to have a nickname like Ata. How about Sixteeny? Six teeny? <laughs> hey, hey, he's not a pet. There's no need to give him a nickname. But still, that Dr. Jero is really an amazing scientist. 
to create such amazing androids. Hmm. This bed is really comfortable. I like it. Mm-hmm. I like this one too. I love that there are so many fashionable clothes in here. <laughs> A few months pass after the two demons appeared on South Island, West City. I wonder if there's a way to do of those two androids. We apologize for the interruption of this program, but we have some news regarding the androids. Just now, they appeared in West Sea, near SKM 118755. No! That place is really close, right? Huh? We need to get out of here immediately. Mom! Dad, hurry to the shelter! This is bad. Trunks is still sleeping in the other room. <laughs> Vegeta! You need to get to the shelter too! I'm not going. There's no time for this. We need to get Trunks and escape. There's no need for me to run away. Everyone dies sooner or later. If you want to flee, do as you please. <sighs> and with that, Bomber runs, knowing her priority is Trunks. Trunks, I'm sorry, we're leaving. <laughs> the baby Trunks remains, covered in the coat of Vegeta, a coat he would soon grow up to wear in his teenage years. Thank you, Vegeta. I finally found a place to die. Farewell, Bulma. Trunks. And now, I'm coming to you, Kakarot. <laughs> As expected, there are lots of bugs in the sea. We must exterminate those pests. <laughs> huh? Standing before them is a smirking Vegeta in his full combat bodysuit. Are you... Vegeta? Well, well. What is the prince doing here? I don't know how it's possible. But you seem to know me. Not that it matters though. You're just a bunch of kids making noise in other people's neighborhoods. Making my son cry. It bothers me. You better get the hell out of here. Hmm. But we're having fun here. Dealing with a father who can't read the situation is really annoying. Or maybe you'll be the one to entertain us. Damn brats. Fine, I'll play with you for a while, but we'll change location. I'd get irritated if we made a mess here. As you wish, I'll let you choose the place where you'll die. And in an abandoned desert where Goku originally fought Android 19 in the original timeline, Vegeta and the androids get ready for their final fight. Let's get on with it. I haven't trained much lately. <laughs> Just like that, stand before them is the Super Saiyan Prince of Saiyan. <gasps> this key belongs to Vegeta? What is this? Now you're blonde too? We've already fought someone who had that same form. He wasn't really a threat though. Don't lump me in with that foolish guy. I'll show you the overwhelming power of Super Saiyan Vegeta. This time, let me handle it. Don't decide things on your own, number 18. I won't let you have all the fun. What are you talking about, number 17? You're always having so much fun, it's not fair. How long are you bastards planning to make me wait? You're just blabbering. Such a pain in the ass. I'll defeat both of you! As fast as they can, both Mato and Gohan rush to the scene. If his power level is this high, then we might have a chance if we fight together. Somehow, I have to make it in time! At last, 
I found the androids. I will avenge Mr. Piccolo! Think that's going to work, you idiots? To a fighting race like Saiyans, you're nothing but puppets. Enough. Go to hell! Good! I made it in time! Such a tremendous power level, as expected from the Saiyan's prince. Okay. That's... the outfit. Could it be? Mato, why are you wearing... Chi-Chi gave me these clothes to replace my ruined old ones. Is that so? Oh good. So when you said you hated my father, you were lying, right? Mato stares at him with a blank face. Mato, let me fight with you. I won't slow you down. I've been training hard for the past few months. Gohan, I understand how you feel, but I'm sorry, you're staying here. No! I can't just sit here and do nothing! Please, Mato! With that same blank stare, Mato thinks for a second. Gohan, you're studying to become a scholar in the future, right? Huh? My mother used to get mad at me. I didn't study much. Before I came here, I was on a planet named Resource. There's a lot of useful magic there. Only the smartest and most mentally capable people can master that magic. I bet you would learn a lot of magic spells. Mato? But I, in four years, I've only learned one spell. A spell to protect your loved ones. A gentle spell, created by a hero. Clan. My body! What the heck is this motto? It's a spell called Kaklang. It petrifies your body. But you won't take any damage from their attacks. I want you to stay here and watch us fight. I'll show you our victory. Motto, what? Why? Why are you doing this? Risking your life for revenge is painful. What if something goes wrong? Who's going to protect Chi Chi? <laughs> and with those final words, Gohan's entire body becomes petrified. I'm sure you'll understand one day. <laughs> Mato! Back on the battlefield with Vegeta and the androids. You bastards! As if nothing happened. What's going on? Unluckily for you, our energy is going to last forever. The longer this battle goes on, the closer you come to death. What if we fought together, I wonder? In the sky, Mato appears. You're that guy. You! What the hell are you doing here? If you interfere with my fight, I'll beat you too. Come on, don't be like that. I didn't come here to interfere with your fight. Since there are two of them, shouldn't we fight one on one? Besides, I have to settle a score with them. Number 18, let me take care of that guy. He's driving me crazy. Divided, they're easy to be. Damn. Huh? <laughs> I'll send you to the other world in one go.
The story begins following the explosion of Vegeta's final key blast against the androids. Meanwhile, an elderly couple are walking alone across the roads to escape them. Hurry, Granny. We need to get out of town. <sighs> Even if we hide in the mountains, we could be found out by those androids. But... Gr Granny? What happened? H hey! Yeah, one shot. St still, this isn't good, Master. Stupid. I don't care. People all over the world are being killed by androids. I'm pretty sure they would have been killed by the androids too. I've always wanted to shoot people. It's great. It's your turn now, Gig. I'll let you shoot the old man. Come on, this is an order. What? Uh, okay. Gig began to ready his rifle, aimed directly at the old man. Hey, hey! See? You can do it! Ha <laughs> ha! Hey! Feels good, doesn't it? Since we're still in the mood, let's go kill some people. Y yes That isn't a bad idea! North. Let's go north. The scum must be hiding there. Meanwhile, back with Android 16 and Android 8. Is this power... That guy's? Why? What's the matter? It's nothing. Alright. Anyway, this is... This is the place where I first met Son Goku. Strong. Kind. He was fun to be with. Thanks to his help, I was able to live with everyone in the village. That's why you were made by Dr. Shiro to kill Son Goku. That made me really sad. But more than that, Son Goku. He died of an illness. That made me even sadder. Oh? Where are Ata and Sixteeny? They went to Muscle Tower. I see. So they went to a place filled with memories of Goku. Yeah. I can't believe Goku. That Goku got sick and died. I can't believe it. I just feel like he's still out there, somewhere. And then, to kill Son Goku, 16 he was. What's more, he was created by the same scientists that made those androids who are rampaging around the world. Ata and 16 are so nice that it's hard to believe it. I wonder if humans and human-like beings will ever stop fighting each other. Huh? What's that? Yahoo! Huh? Let's get back to the village. Mama and Suno are probably waiting for us to have dinner together. The two then begin walking back home. <gasps> the... This is... No. Hmm? Whoa, what are those huge things? Just in time to try this big guy. Take this! <laughs> They're just meat now. Dare you! Everybody in the village! No, no way! They're still alive! What's that? With the whites of his eyes now turn black, and black tears running down his cheeks, Android 16 has had a complete malfunction. Bla Black Tears? In his eyes, the two criminals appear to be Son Goku. There's a t 27, 34% chance of him being Son. Son Goku. He's, he's coming in. Shoot, shoot him, just shoot. As expected, the bullets are easily deflected off his body. 
Trace of the criminals remain. <laughs> Are you okay? Somehow, Android 8 is not mistaken to be Son Goku. Son Goku. With that, Android 16 flies off into the distance. Meanwhile, back on the battlefield, Mato and Vegeta still have the upper hand against Android 17 and 18. <laughs> Double Moon Fan! Pleased at what he just witnessed, Vegeta slowly begins descending. It seems your fate is sealed too. Huh? In a flash, a huge power level enters the battlefield. Standing next to Vegeta is Android 16. Still with his black shot eyes and black tears running down his face. He is Android number 16? Number 16 looks to his left and standing there in Goku's clothes, Mato is seen and identified as Son Goku himself. 74% chance of him being Son Goku! What? That large one? I wonder. He seems weird. Huh? Hell's Flash! Destruction, a severely damaged Mato just barely was able to defend himself. <laughs> Android 16's rocket hand grabs Mato by the face. <laughs> number 17! Is that really number 16? I thought he was a peaceful guy, but... Uh, what's with that giant? Is he an android too? Why? He seemed like such a nice guy. Son Goku. With both of the Saiyans in sight, now both of them appear as targets for Android 16's rampage. <sighs> Don't! Stop! Do you want to destroy the whole world? Number 16 is a prototype, a failure! You mustn't touch him! I see. I bet his mechanism is going haywire. It's time we left this place. And with that, 18 takes 17 and escapes. All the while being watched by a stone-faced Gohan who can still see and sense his surroundings. The androids are... Behaving like this. I'm sure something happened to him. What should we do? Listen, Frieza, former emperor of the universe. There were two things us Saiyans could do that scared him. One was becoming a Super Saiyan, like we did. The other was the power we have after joining forces. Don't slow me down if you don't want to die. Understanding the words of his fellow Saiyan, Mato gets ready for the final battle. Let's take a break from training. I want to teach you a fun trick. <sighs> this monster. We're two against one. But this power. He's so strong he makes the other two androids look cute. At this rate, we'll both be killed. Listen to me. There's only one thing that will give us the chance to beat him. But I've never tried that technique before. And it takes a long time to do it. 
Understood. I'll keep him busy. Thank you. However, if we end up wasting time, I will not forgive you. The technique is simple. It takes time to charge it, but it's powerful. But you can't do it without a companion of the same race and equal strength. I've never had a chance to use it, but maybe you can meet one of your fellow Saiyans. <laughs> as Vegeta's assault rages on, Gohan watches from above, looking on as Mata powers up. Mata, what are you planning? With Vegeta now pinned down to the ground by his head, Android 16 is ready to unleash his final attack. Shit! Okay! Let's go, Vegeta! and Vegeta. Metamorans? Yes, a very weak species. However, they mastered an incredible technique. The universe is full of amazing people, isn't it? Idiot! Unimekians are amazing as well. You can do incredible things. And all you have to eat or drink is water. I know the universe is infinite, but Unimekians are probably the most incredible people out there. Oh really? <laughs> the power of this technique is impressive, but there's one that's even more powerful. For various reasons, I couldn't do that. And emerging from the light, a new Saiyan is present. The fusion of Moto and Vegeta. Majita has been born. What is this? What happened? Yes, I did it! Did it? What are you talking about? Fusion. We merged. Merged? Idiot! Don't go and do weird things without my consent. But there's no other way to beat him. Son Goku. And even as the fuse entity, Majita appears as Son Goku to Android 16. Mato and Vegeta fused? Come on, you bastard. Undo this. No, before that, we need to kill him. Huh? Hey, he's coming. This is bad. Dodge it. I can't move. What the hell is going on? Go right. Let's go left. Huh? Standing completely unfazed by Android 16's most powerful punch, Majita is completely undone. I see. We can handle it. <laughs> oh. Okay, good. I'm getting the hang of it. Utterly <laughs> 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 outmatched. Android 16 is sent through two mountains and left barely able to move on the ground. S Son Goku! It's time to end this. <sighs> Majita pauses for a moment, his face now resembling Mato for a second. This one's like me. What are you talking about? I can't move. Sorry, Vegeta. What? And with that, the two Saiyans split, seemingly at the will of Mato. What are you doing? I'm sorry, but this android is suffering like I was. However, he's a robot, 
It's not his fault. Whoever made him ordered him to do this. We can get Balmor to fix him, and then we can work something out. As long as he's alive, he can start over. Huh. Why am I always surrounded by softies? Suddenly, within a blink of an eye, with his key undetected, Android 16 grabs hold of Mato's arm. His body immediately begins to emanate light. Both Mato and Vegeta are caught completely off guard and unable to react. Android 16 self-destructs, taking Mato and Vegeta with him. Meanwhile, Gohan's stone body returns to normal as the spell is finally broken. Mato! Mato! It can't be! With Gohan now fully alone, losing even Mato, his own hair begins to illuminate, and his eyes, filled with tears, begin to turn green. The young Gohan has finally become a Super Saiyan, and in the wind, the final reminder of Mato blows away. Thirteen years pass, and a familiar scene is witnessed. Gohan, future Gohan, now an adult, stands over the teen trunks, who he has just knocked out in order to fight the androids by himself. As he stares at the young trunks, Gohan can't help but remember a familiar scene 13 years ago. I'm sure you'll understand one day. Mato, I now understand what you meant. Future Gohan, with Mato on his mind, flies one last time into the battlefield in a hope to avenge everyone, including Mato. However, in the end, we know how the story goes. And that was the final episode of the Mato story and for obvious reasons. And if you made it this far in the journey, drop me a hashtag Mato down below in the comments. Truly one of the greatest fan mangas ever to grace YouTube, let alone the channel. And I hope you all really enjoyed and appreciated how it was delivered in my signature style rather than a page just moving slowly from one end to the other. Every fan manga on this channel gets treated like a real episode of the anime here and I have one last surprise for you and that is the existence of a final, final part to this Mato story, an alternate ending as such where Mato finally meets Goku. This is Earth. Kakra should be somewhere on this planet. Huh? I sense three different people with high power levels in that direction. Two are very similar to Turley's. Judging by the sphere's reaction, that's the right direction. I'll go check it out. And just like that, Mato travels at full speed in the hope of finding Goku. Meanwhile, the home of Goku and Chi Chi. A strong key is coming fast. I don't know whose key it is, but it doesn't seem evil. Who could it be? Mato comes to an immediate stop. Standing before him is Goku. He looks like Turley's. A Saiyan. That means... Are you Kakarot? You're a Saiyan too. How do you know my name? And who are you? But Base? No, it can't. Base? Oh, I see. Your motto, huh? You know Base? Let's just say another me does. More or less. 
Some time passes as Mato explains his story. I see. So that's why you're here. Well, I'm sorry about that. Because of us, you couldn't avenge your mother's death, right? I'm sure you could have beaten Frieza too, with your strength. Mato just stays silent, not knowing what to think of Goku's words. Mr. Piccolo, can't we use Dragon Balls to revive the villagers? I'm afraid it's not possible with Earth's Dragon Balls. With Namekian ones, however. What are these Dragon Balls you're talking about? There are seven Dragon Balls and they are created by a Namekian. When you collect all seven, a dragon appears. To make it simple, the Eternal Dragon will grant you any wish. There are Dragon Balls both on Namek and Earth. With Dragon Balls, Namekians were able to emigrate to a new planet. Then, Namek is safe, and Base is alive? No, Base died, but I'm sure they will bring him back to life with the Namekian Dragon Balls. I see. Okay then, I'm going to new Namek then. We'll help you out. No, there's something else we need to do. Hmm, you're right. It can't be helped. I'll ask Bulma. And so, since Goku, Piccolo and Gohan had to train to defeat the androids, Goku uses instant transmission to take Mato to Capsule Corp. Oh! Goku! Hey! Is Bulma here? I think Bulma is somewhere around here. Okay. Good luck then! And with that he vanishes. I'll get you something to drink. Sit down and relax. Uh, it's okay, don't worry. Some time then passes. We need to go there together, Mato! Huh? If you try that place, you won't want to eat anywhere else. A guest? What a rare sight! Oh! Bulma! Ah, thank god. You're Bulma. Were you looking for me? Ah! Could you be a Saiyan? Oh, so you're going to revive the villagers killed by Frieza's army. That's why Goku brought you here. But still, that Goku, he should have told me, that was irresponsible. Um, Kakarot, Son Goku, what kind of person is he? He's just a battle freak. I mean, even now that we're in this terrible situation, he attracts trouble like a magnet. My Vegeta is also a Saiyan, and he doesn't do any work. He's a rude, pure Saiyan. <laughs> Mato looks embarrassed as he looks to the ground. That aside, do you know where New Namek is? I don't know the exact location. Let's go ask Fortune Teller Barber. And so they arrive at Fortune Teller Barber's palace. Standing confronting Mato, however, is Devil Man. <laughs> Devil Might Beam was. With just his fighting spirit? <laughs> You're very strong. You easily... Well, he is a Saiyan too, so... Why didn't you say something earlier? Hmm. New Namek. It's pretty far. <laughs> it looks like you've got someone waiting for you there. Waiting for me? Okay. I'm going there with my spaceship. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Take care. I hope your mother will come back to life. With that, Mato leaves as fast as he can. A few days pass, and Mato has finally arrived at New Namek. This is New Namek. I've been waiting for you. Huh? Base! Finally, the young base is once again standing before Mato. It's been a while. I've been waiting for many years. <laughs> you've changed a lot. You too. By the way, you said you've been waiting for me. Ah uh, yes, follow me. These are the Dragon Balls. They are just like what Mr. Harp gave me. These are completely different from Mr. Harp's. You need to collect all seven and then Poronga, the Eternal Dragon, will grant you three wishes. Whoever passes the trials of the seven village chiefs is qualified to do so. While waiting for you, I completed the trials and collected them. 
Well, I'm part of the trial now. Let's get started then. Ah, yes, please. And with that, the Dragon Balls begin to glow and emit light. Purunga has been summoned. You who have gathered all seven Dragon Balls, come forth and make a wish. I shall grant you any three wishes. Once, one wish could revive only one person. But now, thanks to Mr. Mori's upgrade, more people can be brought back to life. Come on, Mato, make a wish. Revive the villages of Planet Emigrant killed by Freezer's army. All right, I shall grant your first wish. The scene then changes to Planet Emigrant and Mato's mother stands shocked. I was dead, right? As a special service, I restored body and clothes to their original condition. Thank you, Paranga. With that wish, everyone in the village should be alive. All that's left to do is use one wish to bring you back to the village. You're not coming to the village? Well, I still need to learn a lot of things on this planet. I see. Thank you, base, for everything. Take care, Mato. And when we meet again, we'll have fun together, like old times. I'm looking forward to it. Give my regards to Mr. Harm. And so the second wish, Mato vanishes from New Namek. Your third wish. You still have one last wish. What will it be? Many years pass, and Mato can be found on Planet Emigrant, doing his day job as a farmer. Daddy! It's time for lunch! I'll be there in a minute. You can start without me. I'll wait! Phew! It's been seven years. I wonder how Base is doing. Suddenly, without warning, Goku arrives. Hey! Long time no see! Kakarot, what are you doing here? Well, a lot happened since then. I really wanted to come here earlier. I wanted to fight you, at least once. To fight me? Fine, I've always wanted to fight you, after all. Really? Yes, and... Mato then gets into his fighting position. Let's not hold back. Of course. Goku too then gets into his bow position. The two stare off at each other. Two destined warriors, two heroes. Finally about to have the battle they both long awaited for. 